Welcome to Balances.com. Today we would like to introduce to you the A&D EJ4100 series. This is a low cost, portable digital scale. The manufacturer is A&D Weigh-In. They're a spectacular company with offices both in Milpitas, California and Norcross, Georgia. They have distribution centers on both the east and the west coast. I'd like to show you some of the features on the EJ series. Um, none of the EJ series are legal for trade. Uh, the A and D EK series is, but the EJ, none are legal for trade. Some of the features on this balance include a nice LCD display with backlight, and we have a sprint bubble indicator right here for adjusting the balance so that the balance is level. We also have a stainless steel weigh pan that's removable for easy cleaning. Um, we also have four adjustable feet. Most balances in this price category only have two adjustable feet. Here we have four adjustable feet. There's an underhook. This port here is for way below. So, <laughs> excuse me, on some of the models of the EJ series, and I'll discuss this later, there is the underhook feature. This is the 4100 that I have, so you can see the underhook port here. And what you have to do is buy an eye hook. It's an accessory from A and D, and it enables you to weigh magnetic material or hot items. So that's a real nice feature again for this price category. We have four adjustable feet, as I mentioned before, and this little compartment right here is so that you can do a calibration. So there's a little button here that we pressed. And our guess is eventually A&D will apply for legal for trade status, and this is why they have this compartment so it can be locked out. But again, presently, this model is not legal for trade. So, uh, some of the features we want to go over again. Uh, on the back of the battery, a big, big selling point with this balance is it operates on standard batteries. So this is a major selling point. All you have to do is put four AA batteries. You don't have to buy any expensive NICAD batteries. So this is a great, great selling point. Another feature that this balance has is there's a little port right here. And this port is so that you can plug in either the module for an RS-232 or a USB interface. And you simply just plug this right into the module board. So that's another nice feature. Uh, this, this scale is in the same pricing category as the Aho Scout series or the, uh, the prior model was the Acula VIC or it is now called the Sartorius AY series. This little port here is for a lock that you can buy on the secondary market so you can secure these scales if this is a school and you don't want the kids to take the scales home with them, uh, that's for a secured lock. So again, uh, let's go over just a few of these features here. The RS-232 interface with cable for this particular scale is $69, and the USB interface is $79. Now, you have the ability to purchase an optional A&D printer, or you can connect this to a PC, but either way, if you want to connect it to a PC or the A&D printer, you would have to go with an RS-232 interface, for the printer on the USB, you can go to a, a computer. Um, let's turn on the scale again just to give you some ideas how large the display is. It's a nice large LCD display and you have a backup, a backlight, I'm sorry. And this is for uh, use in dimly lighted areas. You can set this backlight so that it's either always off, it's always on, or the display will turn off after 5, 10, 30 or 60 seconds. So it's user configurable. Now on the EJ series, the EJ120 to the EJ610, uh, these scales are all 0.01 gram. They all have a round platform and that diameter is 4.3 inches. On the EJ series 1500 to the 6100, these are all by a tenth of a gram, and they all have a rectangular platform, and that platform size is five by five and a half. The scale comes standard with the AC adapter, so it doesn't cost you any additional money for the AC adapter, and uh, we highly recommend that you buy the calibration weights. Cal weights are optional. 
the scale, uh, weighs in just about every way mode imaginable. And all you have to do is press the unit key. So right now we're in grams. You press it and now we're in parts counting mode. We're in percent mode. Now we have ounces, pounds, just about every configurable uh, way mode that you would ever need is there. The nice thing about this balance is you can just scroll through all these way modes. That's mummies, that's penny weight, grains, even newtons, which is a nice feature. A lot of schools want it. This here is a comparative function, and we're back to grams. Um, I'd like to show you some more features. We've already discussed the sprint level bubble. Most scales, again, in this category don't have that. Um, we talked about the cal switch on the bottom and how simple it is to do a calibration. All you have to do is we're going to press the, the bottom of the scale. We're going to press this little button right here. I don't know if you can zoom in. There's a little tiny button. And when I press that button, it says cal zero. And so the, the, the balance is looking for the reference voltage at zero, nothing on the platform. So all we have to do here when we see Cal zero is press the print key. And you'll notice here in the top left hand corner, there was a little zero there, meaning it was storing the value. And again, the calibration weights are optional. You can see the scale asking for 4,000 grams. So I have a two kilogram weight and another two kilogram weight. Simply put it on the scale and we're going to press the print button and you'll notice in the top left hand corner again the zero. Now it says N. We take our cal weights off the scale, hit the unit button to reset the scale and put our calibration weights on and we have 4,000 right on the money. Uh, another great feature about the AND EJ series is you can calibrate the scale with practically any weight you want. Um, in the menu, uh, you can change the calibration weight that is uh, that you want to use to do the calibration. A couple more uh, features about this scale. This scale in the back here, we can remove this 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 little uh, I don't know it's called a rim or whatever. Uh, this this comes off, and one could slide on a cover. So there's an optional breeze brake cover that can go on these scales at $79. Another feature you have is the carrying case. Uh, there's a density determination kit only for the balances that go to 0 0.01 grams. So that would be the EJ120 to the EJ610. Um, great benefit by buying A&D is you get a five-year limited manufacturer warranty. Nobody gives, uh, well, I don't want to say nobody, but basically our house's warranty is a lot shorter. Sartorius is a lot shorter. Uh, five years of Metlitz Lido, I believe their warranties are now one year. Five years, this is a, a huge plus and for anybody that wants a balance and uh, you know, is really looking for warranty. They have the longest warranty in the industry. Uh, another huge selling point that I always like to tell people about A&D is they have a very, very, very well documented manual. Very easy to configure the balance, step-by-step -step instructions. You know, if you're considering which balance do I want to buy, I would highly recommend you download the user manuals. And if you can't figure out how to use the balance, a lot of these manufacturers, they have horrible manuals. A&D is by far the best. And again, A&D has customer support both on the East and the West Coast. So it's a spectacular value and balance. Um, I just want to bring in the other series that I have here. This is the A&D EK series. So it's very similar, except the balance has a larger weigh pan. But the downfall with the EKI series is this NICAD battery. It requires a NICAD battery pack, and A&D has just raised the price on this. This battery pack is $160, which is just totally ludicrous. But that's the manufacturer. We have no control over it. Um, we recommend people buy the EKI series if they need a legal for trade scale. They typically buy the EK1200i. Not all of the EKI series are legal for trade. I believe there's like four models that are. 
but again, I, I just wanted to bring this scale and, and, and show you the comparison. They're very, very similar, but the EJ is uh, more affordable. Thank you very much for this video, uh, watching it, and if you have any interest, give us a call, or you can always buy these at balances.com.